In the year 2000, the population of Bangkok was 7.8 million. It is estimated the population is growing by 2% each year. The growth can be modelled by the function P of T is equal to 7.8 times 1.02 to the power of T, where P of T is the population in millions and T is the time after 2000. Estimate the population in 2010, giving your answer correct to one decimal place. If this model continues, in which year will the population double? So note, the multiplier for an increase of 2% is 1.02. P of t will be equal to 7.8 times 1.02 to the power of t. So what happens is that if it increases by like in one year, you just multiply by 1.02. If it's two years, it's 1.02 squared. So we want the, uh, that's the initial population. In 2010, T is 10 years. So P of 10 will be equal to 7.8 times 1.02 to the power of 10. So we can work that out on our calculator. That gives me 9.5081. Remember that's million. Uh, so giving our answer to one decimal place, that will be 9.5 million to one decimal place. Then it says, if the model continues, in which year will the population double? So we've got P of T is equal to 7.8 times 1.02 to the power of T. We require the population to double. So we want two times 7.8, which is, 7 point, uh, is equal to 7.8 times 1.02 to the power of t. If we divide both sides by 7.8, we're just going to get 2 is equal to 1.02 to the power of t. This is the equation that we need to uh, solve. Therefore, if we take logs, and uh, we can take to any base, I'm just going to take to the base 10 of both sides. So we've got log base, uh, log base 10 of 2 is equal to log base um, 10 of 1.02 to the power of t. We've got log the base a of x to the r is r a log a base a of x. So that means we can take that t and put it down in front. So we've got log base 10 of 2 is equal to t times log to base uh, 10 of 1.02. We want to find t, so we divide both sides by one log of 1.02. Working that out on our calculator, we're going to get that t is 35 years. Therefore, the population would have doubled in 2035. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to solve a exponential increase problem. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.